it's your boy Buddha Mike back at it again. Came up here for some more uh, content for my friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's see, Let's see. Let me put this up on here. Surviving Hollywood, Carter Black. In this series, we're going to talk about the rise of Kodak Black and how he got to where he's at right now. From being manipulated to incarceration to exoneration by Donald Trump. Kodak Black was manipulated just like any other kid. They seen his aspiration and the dedication. Once you get manipulated, you grow up, you have resentment, and you speak up. He's done exactly that, and he always left clues behind. In part two, we're going to talk about his upbringing and how he got into the music industry. Message. So, basically, I put that up here to show y'all that not everybody you follow is kinfolk, you know what I'm saying? Dude's a plant. He a plant. Industry plant. And this shit's all structured around it. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's structured around us just like the, the pyramids and stuff in the Grand Canyon. You know what I'm saying? Like all that shit's structured. These people been building this stuff for, for I don't know how long, but shit, the Archon's gonna be coming back soon. We're gonna have thir earthquakes and all that shit coming up here soon. Yeah, yeah, I started it early, man. I, I, you know me, man. I, I, I had to get it out. I thought it was set for nine, anyways. I don't know why I had it set for ten. Uh, I don't know. It's all right though. Uh, uh, uh but yo, everybody rolling in. Yo, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to get into some other stuff real quick, like the, the villas. Some of the features of the Grand Canyon couldn't be hidden. That's why they were strict to them. Before they were strict to them, we have a chance to see our past. Ancient civilizations from their monuments. As photographed by John Wesley Powell to their deities forever cast in stone to a Moore's King's Ransom of unfathomable wealth stored within these structures made into vaults all are now be petrified remains be it the rubble Albeit the features that just can't be hidden nor destroyed, or petrified forever. They are the Grand Canyon. Yeah, buddy. Carved in stone, baby. Carved in stone. That, that's naturally homes for all of us, you know what I'm saying? Out of way, tucked tuck up in there. God made the shit. We just dug into it. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Yo, what up, Zayza? <coughs> I know it's Ali, <coughs> but I usually like saying Zaya. Let's get into this. Terrence Howard effect, y'all. Terrence starts by posing an intriguing question. Money can't be multiplied, or can it? 
A penny times a penny equals what? Since the penny is no longer based upon the hard acid of gold and is now based upon an imaginary value that is equal to a virtual value of the integers or numbers, then it follows one penny times one penny equals one penny, according to the rules of current mathematics and multiplication. One penny times one penny equals two pennies, Somebody according to the laws of universal <laughs> mathematics. One penny times one penny equals 0 0.0001. According to a calculator, a penny times a penny, 0 0.01 times 0 0.01 equals 0 0.001. Does a penny times a penny equal one penny based upon the rules of multiplication? Or does a penny times a penny equal 0 0.0001 based upon our current decimal system? A value so small no, that there no, isn't no. even a currency circulated for that amount by the U.S. Department of Treasury. All calculations shown here are reasonable forms of multiplication, but which one remains consistent with observed universal phenomena? How would you like your money calculated? A nickel times a nickel equals what? A nickel is equivalent to five pennies. Then a nickel times a nickel should also equal a quarter. A nickel times a nickel according to the calculator is 0 0.05 times 0 0.05 equals 0 0.0025. Again, a value so small that there is not a currency circulated to represent it. How would you like your money calculated? A dime times a dime equals what? A dime is equivalent to 10 pennies. A dime times a dime should be equivalent to 10 pennies times 10 pennies. 10 pennies times 10 pennies is equivalent to 100 pennies, which is equal to a dollar. But a dime times a dime equals a penny according to a calculator. 0 0.10 times 0 0.10 equals 0 0.01. How would you like your money calculated? No, what is a quarter times a quarter? A quarter is equal to 25 pennies. Therefore, a quarter times a quarter equals 25 pennies times 25 pennies, which equals 625 pennies, which is 6.25 US dollars. Yet, a quarter times a quarter, according to the calculator, is 0 0.0625. 0 0.25 times 0 0.25 equals 0 0.0625. How would you like your money calculated? Questions. You know what I'm saying? Like these people, they put it up there. Like uh, 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 we we don't know what we're talking about, but obviously, Terrence Howard got to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? What's up, what's up, blessings, fam? Yeah, I like my calculator with four commas, man. Let's keep them coming. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got this one, too. Y'all watch this. A Cook County judge was arrested for human trafficking. Can you believe it? Florida out there wild, else? bro. But Florida. It's always Florida that has the weirdest types of cases. But here we are reporting another wild story to you, my beautiful viewers, my fellow lunatics. You know who it is. Rational lunatic. And before we get started, please hit that like and subscribe button. Smash that little thing into oblivion because you do not want to miss my stories. I am the one who looks up and finds the juiciest news on corrupt officials. And so you search the algorithm. Whether you like it or not. So you might as well just like it. Like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. All right, right? All right. Real right. quick, I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here. And this Brand story defense. isn't as recent as my other ones. This one is was reported in 2022, 
but this judge with a hundred other people had, was charged and convicted for sex trafficking, um, which to me is, or I'm, excuse me, human trafficking, which to me is crazy. Here we go. It's not a very long story, but bear with me. It's definitely worth hearing about, talking about, exposing. So let's get into this one, shall we? Yes, sir. Oh, everybody in the chat, don't forget to like, comment, this subscribe. Comes from Let me know where you're coming Sin from. News. Who is all in here? Read to you by yours truly, Rational Lunatic. And here we go. Retired Cook County judge among over over a hundred arrested in Florida for human trafficking sting. Polk County, Florida. What did I say earlier? Did I say Cook? Oh, it says Cook County and then down in the actual story it says Polk County. P-O-L-K. So, this writer either got it wrong or there was a sting that involved two counties. I'll hmm. leave it at that. But let's continue. It might have, might have involved Support two counties. County, Florida. WLS, a retired Cook County judge, was among over a hundred people arrested. Yeah, I thought he was Florida talking about Illinois too. That's Chicago. In Florida, Daniel Peters, 66, of Palos Hills was charged with soliciting a prostitute. Polk County Ooh. Sheriff Grady Jude <clears throat> said Peters told authorities he was a retired judge in the Cook County 4th Sub Circuit and a special assistant for legal affairs at the Cook County Sheriff's Office in Illinois. Look at that, we went from Florida to Illinois. Isn't that crazy? Oh, real quick, I forgot to mention it. If this video goes past 10 minutes, Damn. please, if you're on TikTok, jump over to YouTube, like and subscribe there, catch the full videos. TikTok only gives me 10 minutes, but I post every single video on TikTok, Yo, what up, Angela? Twitter, and YouTube, so you can get the full video on YouTube. I apologize, I meant to say that a minute ago, I lost track. You know, I got off my own little ADHD bipolar headspace, and that's what happens. But let's continue. <laughs> Peter was arrested during a six-day undercover human trafficking operation conducted by the Polk County Sheriff's Office. The Cook County Sheriff's Office said Peters is no longer on the bench or in county government. Okay, I understand now. So he worked for um, Cook County, but Polk County did the investigation and caught him in the sting. That makes sense. That's why it says, you know, Cook County judge, you know, arrested in Polk County or, you know, busted in sting by Polk County. So I hope that cleared that up for you guys as much as it cleared it up for me. I'm just curious. <coughs> I don't usually read the complete story, I just kind of read the headline a lot of times, and if it sounds juicy enough, I go with it. Yo, what up, baby cake? According to the Polk County officials, detectives identified prostitutes who posted online advertisements, as well as the, quote, Johns communicating with them online with, quote, the intent to identify and free any victims who were being forced into prostitution or anyone participating mm. in the trafficking of victims. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, that's something I, I don't think people understand. I'm from, I, I'm not from, I'm from California, but I live in Reno, Nevada, right? So mm. there's places where there's actual legal prostitution you know, they're they're in like apartment units, you know what I mean? But there's also other places in the United States where prostitution is legal, where they do, you know, 
they, they check their age they are they, they they have you know they do it for themselves they get tested but in a lot of cases there's just a lot of women especially underage women who are she says she can't pay attention to and that's because this dude has ADHD he don't know how to focus his words because he's so only reading stuff and then he's coming up with like his own conclusion is forced prostitution and a lot of times you know a lot of, a lot of dudes don't know the difference because they meet a woman who's just um, selling herself and you know she doesn't let him know that hey uh, I'm being forced to do this can you get me out of here um, and a lot of times the woman themselves don't know what to do they, they've been groomed into thinking that it was their decision really or, needs you know, the they, they like it and um, a mic <laughs> until a lot of them finally get out of it and realize what actually happened and realize the difference between a man who wants them and a man who really appreciates and really wants them and really loves them and really and really just wants to take care of them um and, and it just sucks because um, at least uh, it hit home. It hit, excuse me. Let me let me let me rephrase. It. it hits home for me real hard because I've I've been in that situation. Um, not as a John. I've just fallen for a woman who has been trafficked and had to really show her the difference um, in a man that's just you know giving you attention because he just wants to you know do something and then a real man who actually has real feelings and just wants to take care of you um, <laughs> for all you women out there if you are being trafficked if you are doing something against your will or if you were talked into doing something and you think it's your decision but you were if you, if you think back and you were talked into doing something that you didn't originally want to do. Nah, he's a beta male. That's what happens when he's a beta. Run. In most cases, they won't chase you, especially in the U.S. It's not that hard to get away. All you have to do is wait is it? a little bit, be observant. He might be right. Look for your opening. Because I had to turn up my headset. Book it. Run but his, he's talking through a skull mask, away. so... You can get away, you can do better, and there are men out there that will love, cherish, and take care of you. There really are. And they're not By the all, power all of else. grace, God, it's it's funny. You can do better, just run. That's all I can say. You know, I mean, run to your nearest station, um, fire station house. Baby Bell. Oh, sorry. I just, just George Peterson just comes out sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just weird. Yeah, y'all see my emote? I'll turn it off. I forgot that was there. He's killing me. <laughs> hey, that dude was really a bait on us. Like, he seemed like the type of dude that would have been okay with cuff. Messed up. To save it. Yeah. Thank God it's over. Uh, why Yeah, there was really something wrong with it, dude. Nothing like this, people. In the docuseries, Drake Bell, the star from Drake and Josh, that huge show that was all over Nickelodeon, he said that Brian sexually abused him. Drake said that the abuse took place at Brian's home over several months. Drake said, quote, 
He had pretty much worked his way into every aspect of my life. He also said that he started to drive a wedge between him and his dad, who was Drake's manager at the time. Once Drake's dad was then essentially out of the picture, Brian started driving Drake all around LA, also having him spend the night when he was just 15 years old. And Drake said that that's when Brian started to sexually him. I want to talk about Dan Schneider for a second here, in addition to so, so much more regarding this whole, like, Nickelodeon catastrophe. Throat is my instrument. I'm a throat player. Doesn't count. It sounds kind of gross. It does sound kind of gross. Sound like she's a throat gobbler. But that's besides the point, you know what I'm saying? Um... Damn, that's messed up, bro. I didn't even notice that shit. That's a good question. Whatever did happen to her? Huh. <coughs> uh, UFC usually gets you kicked off because you can't really show too much stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's weird like that, but Right, I got some good shit though. You know, Cat Williams been around and shit. Cause I'm saying, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do, but it's still consequences. And Hollywood is finding that out right now. Hollywood got a motherfucking drug problem that's killing them. They can't even ask for help because it's fucking them up that bad. It's a pandemic Damn. in Hollywood. All of it's a plan, Deb. Nobody will say it. But y'all know I'll tell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. You was not the problem. Believe in yourself. For the first time in history, you can make it too. Even if you ugly. Even if you're ugly. Look at all the ugly people trying to act like they don't know the fuck I'm talking to. It's dark in here, but it ain't that dark. Ugly is stronger than dark. <laughs> I'm just telling you, for the first time in history, it don't matter what you look like. All through history, beautiful people got beautiful shit. What did ugly people get? How the fuck would I know? That's not my family tree. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he back at it again, though, man, y'all. At least we know he's still out there. Gotta watch our guy, man, you know what I'm saying? Your energy and your fed upon here, here's the trick. Y'all ready? Y'all already getting tricked so early on. Your energy is fed on fed upon with your participation. The more you emotionally participate, the more you're setting up yourself up to be a dinner meal. That's why you'll hear, Bobby said it, I'll say it, but the ancient teaching you'll hear, don't be human, get past humanity, don't buy humanity. Well, what is humanity? Does it mean walking around on your legs? Shit, you, you're having a human experience, you're gonna do that. But you're worrying about Trump or worrying about Obama is the perfect example two sides of one coin hating mm. or loving like people say well panic i know you hate humanity no i fucking don't because that's the other side of if i'm saying i don't love humanity i'm not trying to indulge, this brother panic I'm not trying to indulge in it i'm not trying to raise it up i'm not trying to nurture it i'm not trying to communicate with the human in you i'm not trying and that can happen but primarily why we're here 
I'm not trying to do that. We become friends and we have niceties. Great. But when you tell me, yo, man, my rent's nah, due, brother panic. I'm not here for panic. that. I have compassion for it. My rent was due at certain points, too. But I'm not here to help with that. I don't know how to fix your kids. Panic, this is happening with this. Because I, I really generally don't give a fuck. I really genuinely uh -huh. don't. And it's not, I'm not going to lie to you and pretend I do. Because here's the trick. If y'all don't know, nobody gives a fuck about you. And nobody gives a fuck. People just pretend to. I'm one of the first guys, at least in this shit, that's telling you, I don't give a fuck about you. I don't want to save the black race. I don't think the black race is special. I think if you step up and choose to walk through that door, my hat is off to you. I honor you for that. But that's, no, that's not up to me or anyone. It's up to you. So this means you need to find ways to combat certain innate fears that will put in you that feel almost like your DNA. That white people are exploiting that's from a system that you got trapped into, most likely, and are locked into, into a routine. Yep. And don't even know you're a food source for something that may not even be eating off your ass no more. Mm. Cause you're such an old thing. I don't even eat Hassan Pfeffer no more. I'm not into Hassan <laughs> Pfeffer. That's that's from before. This place is so old, and you have been so recycled. You are in a absolute state of fucking madness. Madness. You have mad cow's disease. Mmm. <laughs> You niggas got mad cow disease. I promise you, you do. And <coughs> when you see, let's just say, the, the uh, 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 what do they call it? the death procession, whatever it is, 42 lords in my yard, and you stand in front of Osiris to see if your heart is lighter than a feather. What was the ancients trying to say then about you as a fucking food source and how to you know what the heart it. stands for they right pretty much saying your 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 worries your heart to your, be heavier your, than a feather un, un, in a nutshell, unfulfilled you still care about shit that's going on down there you still think that was real don't you you get this mm. opportunity to walk through this door and you sitting around going the black woman never did that the black man never got that the white man's doing that. We never got bank loans. I never started my record company. Uh, my kids, hell, we fucked up there. That's, that's a whole different thing to talk about there. All of this but, shit, which is another way of saying, I still believe where I was is a real place. And it's a real talk. And that's too, another way of saying, this. your heart is heavy in a, in a feather. You still believe this is real? You go on back. So, panic goes to that door, and I know the game. Y'all niggas now know the game, because I'm telling y'all the game. It's not a guy going to be standing there. My heart is not coming out. But I know in my consciousness, I have not stolen. I have not wronged this guy. I have not coveted mm. thy neighbor's goods. And all the other shit they said, no, I haven't did it. Because I wasn't here. This body was here. And my energy was encapsulated in it. And because I concerned myself with whatever I'm told to be concerned about as a black person, that's how I feed. That's how I feed. Based upon somebody telling black man, black woman, you should be concerned. Know what they do all the time. I'm concerned about hysterectomies. Hmm. I'm saying, black man, watch your high blood pressure, diabetes. Know why? Because they will take your leg. And you sitting there, Ooh, what the fuck? Know what they take? Listen to this. I'll, I'll do your something right now. How many of y'all heard that AIDS was the number one killer of black women and then black people? Raise your hand if you heard that. How many of y'all buried anybody that. with AIDS? Ooh. I ain't never buried nobody. How many of y'all buried anybody with diabetes? High blood pressure. Heart disease. 
all the regular shit from eating Chinese food. Hmm. MSG. You understand? They bullshitting with you. That ain't real. If they tell you that, what are they looking for? Are they looking for you to die with AIDS? Are they looking for you to do anything? Shit, there's no more examples. We could just tell it. What are they looking for? You to be concerned. Because when you're concerned, you're a food source. In fact, they can create new food sources. They just create a new disease. Something for you to fear in a certain kind of way. Then you become a certain kind of delicacy. Mm, I got lupus. That part. I'm worried about lupus. <laughs> Who's lose piss? <laughs> you ever see a nigga walk like that and just get worried? <laughs> you be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I ain't lying. You just worry. A lot of shit be in your mind and you know you ain't never going through this shit. <laughs> I would like a piece. Of, I would like a slice of pizza. You like what in the fuck do they got? Or motherfuckers that just motherfucker. <laughs> you like you be thinking about that shit the whole day. Like what? The, what the fuck did he have? Like this. <laughs> Mellow thieves. <laughs> Wait. Y'all already know. Brother Penny be telling the truth the hard way, you know what I'm saying? He he on that uh Dick Gregory status with it when it comes to the real talk. The girl on TikTok that ate rats. What? So egg food, y'all. Uh, hey, that's the thing. As long as you know that they ain't cooking with MSG, you know they're not adding shit, which is because MSG is just a flavor to where they could be feeding you some dog shit and that shit tastes good as fuck. That's what MSG is. That's why we don't want MSG because. We don't know what the fuck we eating. If you could taste what you're eating, yeah, you wouldn't be eating this shit. You feel me? Y'all know who this is. We can't ever talk about this. He's a child no, no. to jail. I'm a good person. All right, Kelly, a piece of fuck out of jail for being a child molestation ring in Atlanta. Then I'll be all right. You're about to get me fired from Coachella. It's my first Kelly. time you getting me fired because of R. Kelly. They should have booked R. Kelly if they like R. Kelly so much. You would have. What's up? Can you do a quick commercial for Long Beach Tourism? Hi, my name is Vince Stable. Stay off of Anaheim and Artesia. Best dish your mom cooks. My mom Stay off of Anaheim and Artesia. Whoa. Anything that say Louisiana on the bottle. Favorite thing to do outside? Go inside. Are you going to start your third album or master your chili recipe? It's my business. Grossest thing you've ever seen or smelled? Where do y'all be at to like be having answers to these things? Best barber shop in LA? Ed House or Trey Bell House? Most underrated at yeah, the beach. The county jail. What are the digits of pi? 3.14. I went to the Math Olympics 4th, 3rd grade. Don't fuck with me. Do you think clouds are just God vaping? No, I don't think that's real. God's not a person. If God is a thing, he would be like a thing that don't have a face. But people say God is a person because people have egos. So they want God to look like them. So he's a man in the sky. Like that makes any sense. God probably like a porcupine or like a tree or like a body of water. I don't care who the president is. I never will. I'm never going to vote. I'm never going to go to jury dude because I will sit in that motherfucking room and tell you I am an active gang member. Hey, my guy got, got no chill, yo. I'm going to make sure he get life. And they going to say thank you for your time, and they never going to call you again. I don't give a fuck about none of that mm. government shit, because it ain't never done that. My grandpa went to the mm -hmm. army and came home, and all my family gangbang. That don't make no sense. Like, got the medals, was in the Marines, came home, and they can start gangbanging. That should tell you something wrong with that shit, because you don't have no problem going from that to that, because it's the same. Same old thing. Hey. Y'all know who Vince is? Because he got no chill, and that dude gonna be like, he gonna be. 
At least he live in L.A. where he he got people watching his back. He told y'all niggas stay off of Anaheim. Y'all not, don't go up there. Hey, that boy, he snapped. He said, my mama don't cook. <laughs> she, <laughs> oh, damn. She's like, what's your, what's, your, what's your favorite thing your mom cooks? He's like, my mama don't cook. <laughs> Facts, hey, that's what I'm saying. All right, y'all, I got some good shit for you right here. For all you people that are out there, still, still looking for a hero. Shit, I already made a video showing you that Canada and the United States of America as it's presently named, are registered under the New York Exchange Securities as corporations. But a lot of you saw this video and didn't even bat an eye. This is why I tell you that the world needs to stop. Let me show you what's on the government UK website as well. Registered as corporations. I'm telling you that the world needs to stop the way things are. Things will never get fixed. Not Trudeau, not Polyev, not but Trudeau, Trump, not Biden. No politician Thanks. gives a fuck about you. This is the proof. I've already showed you the proof. But what the fuck is it going to take for you to realize Everything must fucking stop. Canada, the United States of America are corporations. The people that are running these corporations do not give a fuck about you, about you and me. So start loving yourselves so we can come together on the community and change this shit. There ain't no yeah, I've seen that. Ain't no get together. Ain't no work stoppage gonna do this. The world needs to fucking stop. What I don't know what he means about that. People I mean the system and there is no politician that will ever the system is broken, yeah. We we because need to most of these flush the system employed by government getting paid extra money you know that under the table shit to yeah we don't need those bureaucrats so live a decent life you have to struggle you can't pay your fucking rent you can't buy your food it's you losing your homes but look nothing nothing in the last four years that's been negative for you or for your neighbors or for your family members has happened to one one politician not even one fucking politician it's because they're covered for the fucked up job they're doing they don't give a damn they never will it's a corporation and the people are the product not the slaves the product it's a fucking corporation mm. it's time to open up your windows it's time to truly start loving yourself because otherwise not even this april 1st stop it just gonna get this shit done if all these people do not love themselves as soon as they bring police out the same shit's gonna happen chaos i bet you that's when the system's gonna want. shut down your unity with inner peace is what they fucking hate let's start using these platforms in the proper way to come together and not to spread hate to come together yeah what is that trip commune so hey, we can tell, have a tell, true that is democracy demos kratis demos people having a grasp on power that's what fucking democracy is we've never had one and we never will and the reason that we never will Come on, whispers. Rise the fuck up. And read the circle part.
part of the circle. You know what the fuck that means? It means that in Canada, you and I are not nature of business. Flesh and blood living beings. Like I said, they just don't give a fuck. You got a law yourself. 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 Yeah, that part. Well, dude was kind of slow with it, but yeah, the message was we just gotta like come together, start start communizing and shit, especially before the earthquake happens and shit. Because once the earthquake happens, they're gonna knock out the major power grid. They're gonna say some oh, we got lack of communication and shit. They're gonna flood us with the fucking uh, cicadas and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be like it's gonna be some biblical shit. It's going to be some biblical shit. And on that day, I think what we're going to see is not only things coming up out of the earth, but also like Gates Tartarus opening up shit tight. You know what I'm saying? It might be. I ain't, I ain't no Nostradamus, but we got the same first name. So all I'm saying, you know what I mean? Number. 321 Guerrero, G U E R R I M. Make sure you spell it right. If you're this scared of a guy scared in a swimsuit, I've been here for 20 years. You're terrified of a guy in a swimsuit. I didn't do anything. Where's you can shut your mouth. She just, they just detained me. I explained. There's no guns. That guy I has a gun. I don't anybody for no reason. Then what reason? Because I told what you. What crime you did I commit? Can you just shut your mouth so I can explain to it to you? Can you to this lady? Who's the search? This is absurd. Why am I in handcuffs? Are you a supervisor? Why is she yelling? There's a moment in the video where she is literally grimacing with her. I think her hands are clutched. She has this scowl, facial expression, tightened lips, the whole bit, staring at him, Mr. Gould. And she, he looks up at her and goes, what's wrong with you? Look at you. Something like that. Right. And then she just stood up. Are you a yeah. supervisor? No. no. Supervisor. Is there someone explain why I'm here? Can you shut your mouth no. so I can talk to you? Look at you. <laughs> You're furious. What did I do? You did not listen. You're not my boss. Listen to I me. I don't need to listen to you. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Who Dude, are you? No, no, no. This is the only way to I didn't get commit you a crime. I didn't, way I didn't commit a crime. She doesn't right. get to detain me. Yes, pull, her gun, pull her gun on me. Because when you put your hands in your pocket, and I didn't commit a crime. I don't care. You're that terrified? You shouldn't be a cop if you're that terrified. I've been here for 20 years, yeah. punk. Yeah, yeah, here. Here. Go somewhere real. I consider myself a tr but. like a trusted part of that team. I'm a senior officer who they put a lot of responsibility on. I cannot tell you the amount of times I made OIC because it's, I'm one of the most senior people on that ship and they know that. that. The person from the uh, Sable Ridge showed, called and said, hey, I'm here, I, I've got into the camera system. So we sent, I think, Valerio to go back over. And he called me and he goes, oh yeah, he's our victim. Once I got the video from Sable Ridge, I went into the conference room where the captain was and I believe the major was. And I flat out said, I think we need to arrest him. And here's why, and I showed them the video. After she was terminated, Hannah Phillips at the Palm Beach Post made me aware that Ryan filed a lawsuit against the two arresting officers. You're furious. What did I do? You did not listen. You're not my boss. Listen to I me. I don't need to listen to you. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Who Dude, are you? No, no, no. This is the only way to get you out of this. I didn't commit a crime. I didn't commit a crime. She doesn't right. get to detain me. Yes, pull, her gun, pull her gun on me. Because when put you put me on the your hands in your pocket, and I, I didn't commit a crime. Of a I don't gun. care. You're, you're that terrified? Me. You shouldn't be a cop if you're that terrified. I've been here for 20 years, punk. Yeah, yeah. Here. This guy obviously doesn't have anything in his pocket. I consider myself a like a trusted part of that team. Like for real. I'm a senior she, she officer with a lot of responsibility on. Bro. I cannot tell you the amount of times I made OIC because I'm one of the most seen and trustworthy people on that ship and they know that. The person from the uh, Sable Ridge showed, called and said, hey, I'm here, I, I've got into the camera system. So we sent, I think, Valerio to go back over. And he called me and he goes, oh yeah, he's our victim. Once I got the video, from Sable Ridge. Nah, Rose. she is I the activist, the dude. Where Nobody with that much rage should be behind the gun and badge. I think we need to arrest you can't de-escalate and learn how to, like, 
after I she think was terminated, they have Buddhist, Hannah Phillips at the Palm Beach Post uh, uh, made me aware that Ryan filed a lawsuit cop. against Real, the two arresting low key, officers. I think a Buddhist would do a lot better as a cop than a cop. Violations, false arrest, and false imprisonment. Of course, qualified immunity is already being used as a defense. Lawsuits are known to take years, uh, she, so it could be quite some, some time before we hear anything more. But I will be releasing more body cam and interview audio of the incident in the coming weeks. Full videos of the parts included in this report can be found linked below. Then, in January of 2024, I published a story about Miss Juniper and her encounter with a McCracken County Sheriff's deputy. After he cut her off and turned into a McDonald's, Juniper followed after the deputy and after knocking on his window, she told him to be more careful with how he was driving. No, you're gonna you send me to jail for your bad driving. Window, I knocked on your window. Okay. I knocked on your Make window sure after you cut across two lanes huh? without okay. your turn signal. Oh, I think you're fixing to go to jail, but you because you, of your bad driving. Me. You did not come up in a protest like that, beating on my window. I you got scared me because I had no clue. She was eventually arrested and taken to jail. I tell you, whenever you go there and you 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 beat on his window and you put him in fear of I, physical injury, okay, it's called I menacing. disagree with that. Well, I wasn't here for that. Okay. okay. Sure. He first appeared in court in September for the incident. Videos that I'm obtaining for this bulletin, I would like to turn over to County Attorney. If we could put this up for the another pretrial, for the first pretrial. How about October 24th? Be great, Your Honor. Thank you. Nice. Just sit below. She then appeared for a third time in October of 2023, and the charges were dismissed. Juniper Mulligan. Good morning. Well, that's the cop. Just without the armor on. All right, so order. Ready to go. Thanks. After the video was published, this audience helped raise nearly $20,000 to sue the deputies and the sheriff's department for the wrongful arrest. Juniper used the money to hire an attorney, and the case was settled in record time for $25,000. She has since donated $5,000 of that settlement to the Merriman House Domestic Violence Center. These stories are a testament to the power that you have as a viewer. So thank you to everyone who liked and shared the videos to spread the message and to those who donated. More updates on other cases are definitely in the works and are on the way. Dude, she talked like she was on cocaine and shit, bro. Like, Roy Rager. Like, most definitely... Like people like that should not be behind back. Like for real, for real. If you if you can't control yourself, how you gonna control a situation? You know what I'm saying? So where do you see that? I thought. <laughs> Damn, bro. Shit, let's show, show what that. The officer that you remember the press. Oh, several times. It's, it's, in the, it's in the transcripts. I transcribed them myself several times. I told one member of the press. And did you explain to the officer that um, you had a background in constitutional law? Yes, I told him I'm a constitutional law scholar, which was a monitor. Did you inform the, uh, the officer that you were a member of the press? Oh, several times. It's, it's, in the, it's in the transcripts. I transcribed them myself several times. I told him I'm a member of the press. And did you explain to the officer that um, you have a background in constitutional law? Yes, I told him I'm a constitutional law scholar, which was a moniker given to me by other people who are also, they have their own channels, their own press. And that's what some other lawyers on another channel called me three years ago. And I since adapted the moniker. Just to get some guess, further background, were you looking for a uh, police to report on this particular day? No. No, there's, there's cops hide on the side of the road to pull people over. It's pretty regular in our country. I was just in the parking lot there. I saw that Mr. Bork had somebody pulled over, concerned for her safety. I began to film. And why do you think um, that law enforcement traffic stops are relevant to people? That's where most people get killed. That's irrelevant. I'm saying that question. <laughs> You see how mad they are? That's still relevant. No, 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 that's a true fact. I don't like you to understand. Thank you, sir.
30 to step down. All right, Mr. Castro, please stand. The problem with the argument that your attorney makes is it completely fails to consider the safety of the officer and the safety of the driver. The officer doesn't know who you are, and the driver doesn't know who you are. And you don't have any right to interfere with that officer doing his investigation and deciding if he wants to issue a ticket to this driver. And you are also don't have any business approaching the driver. The driver didn't ask you for help. The driver didn't say, help, help, you know. You didn't see an altercation happening between the officer and this driver. Um, the officer didn't protest that you were filming. There's no problem with filming. You can film, it's fine, all right? But you did interfere with his investigation. You did interfere with his ability to do his job. You did put him in a position where he is concerned for his safety and the safety of the driver. So I believe the state's met their burden beyond reasonable doubt. I'm going to find you guilty of obstructing a public officer and resisting a public officer. So I'd like to hear from the state and then your attorney for our sentencing. Your Honor, in terms of sentencing, I would ask um, that our uh, defendant enter and complete a um, an impulse control class. I would ask that the court lobby a $500 fine of equivalent to community service. I would ask that the defendant be ordered to stay out of trouble uh, for the pendency of the case. Um, and I would ask for a nice. So basically, dude's, dude's a First Amendment auditor, and he basically interfered with a police investigation, meaning that he walked up on the scene and stuff, started you know, in, engaging in conversation with them instead of standing by until they engaged with him. Because like they said, he could stand there and film, but he can't, you know what I'm saying, interfere with the conversation that's going on at hand, you know what I'm saying? So basically, like, now we can film until they engage with us, which is, seems seems fair. Seems fair, because I don't want nobody fucking with me when I'm doing my job, you know what I'm saying? Not intentionally, but, eh. No one for the bad guys, right? You're furious. What? Is yeah, I forgot that. Okay, let's, let's get back into it. Uh, Candace was going ham on this dude. I don't know if y'all seen this interview, but she was going ham on dude. Here, watch this. You know, selling butt plugs with your daughter. I, I don't know. Okay, Maybe you, you're right. I think it's gross. Right, I think so, it's disgusting. Look, and I do not. Uh, it's not the rip, definition of holy in the Christian faith, is what I would say. It's weird to me. Well, okay. It's very weird. And, and this I, I, could be a difference in our religions. But by the way, your religion does not trump my religion. So I think that you should respect the fact when I say something is unholy, I am referring to my religion. Every His relationship between him and his daughter is very creepy to me. The sex podcast is very creepy to me. The idea of sitting down and talking to your father about you know topics of sex in any regard is creepy to me. Him promoting butt plugs that are sold by his daughter is creepy to me. I have a right to say that I find this to be utterly unholy unholy and that any faith leader, at least in the Christian community, would agree that all of this is giving us very weird vibes between the father and daughter relationship. I can say that all I want. And I and I, I do think that part of it, and this is where we get to the topic of where people perceive this and they say, is this a form of Jew supremacy? To say, suspend your Christianity because my, my Judaism matters more is the feeling that I get when mm. you say, you don't get to say it's an unholy rabbi. rabbi. Pornography, okay, you know Candace, pornography is is unholy in my view. Uh, you might disagree okay, with that. Candace, it's unholy to 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 Christians. The topic of pornography, peddling pornography, selling butt plugs. You know the commercialization of pornography is unholy, and I'm going to continue to call him unholy because that is what I deem him to be, and I say that as a Christian. Oh, so the message is. You can't trust these rabbis, yo. Who are these Ashkenazis and where did they come from, man? They over here digging caves. They're putting stuff in there. Come on, man. You can't be Lemmy Winksing it up, man. Him and his daughter is fucking Lemmy Winksing it up. So it runs in the family. And what she says, no, nah, no, we don't do the, we don't do that 
Diddy shit. You know what I'm saying? God damn, bro. I mean, that's what's gonna happen, right? You know what I'm saying? So then they go, they they they're gonna. This is getting wild. The National Guard is going to be here now for the solar eclipse. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. And now it's here. Or should I say, I am. Swallow. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's gonna be on the eighth, for real, for real. That that's the uh, Loki. That's the uh, Loki uh, series on on um. Is it who? I think who? Pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. They want you to think that that's what the Arawak looked like because they don't want you to know that this is what they look like. Yeah, These I think it is on Disney. Because it's a Marvel, yeah. These are the original Olmec sheep. These are our ancestors. These are called are the Olmec Colossi. Colossi from Colossal. And these are massive stone carvings of white people. <laughs> I mean, this guy is pretty white, right? This is, this is a white dude, right? Yeah. No? Mm. no? Okay, no. well, okay. These are black people. And they're carved out of one solid piece of basalt rock. Basalt is the second hardest rock on Earth. First hardest is granite, which is what the pyramids are made out of. And they've dated these at these heads, and they estimate that they're somewhere between 16,000 to 20,000 years old. Stop and yeah. think about that, beloved. 20,000 yeah, years Think about old, where we came from, yo. Yeah. of black people excavated massive granite rocks out of the mountains. Sorry, basalt rocks. And then etched themselves into these rocks what kind of technology would they have had to be able to do this 20,000 years ago because it wouldn't have been a copper chisel so the point i'm making is most of our ancestors were already here all right and they had been here for tens of thousands of years as i'm going to prove historians have discovered what they were called they were called the amaru amaru uh that is where, this is where the term America comes from. It doesn't come from America. It's the America. It came from the Amaru. Because they knew who was here originally. And another name for them is the Olmec sheep. Well, guess what? Because we were the Amaru yeah. people and the sheep, Khans people. Co? Slash Atlantean Mexico. and Olmec. That's where the term Mexico comes from. So if you talk about Americans or Mexicans, you're talking about our ancestors. And they inhabited the entire region, as I showed you, North, Central, and South America, and the Caribbean. They are the real Amerindians <coughs> that I was taught in high school, and they were black people. You don't know them because Europeans gave them other names, just like they made up the name Arawak from the Arawak. They made up all these other names to keep you 
from realizing that everything in the Americas is you. Every artifact you find is you. Every monument you find you built. But instead they tell you it's Maya and Inca and Aztec and Toltec and Taino and Karamara. These are all names they made up. Understand TikTok that. TikTok name, Mike Will, 85. Yo. Yeah, it's Mike Wilm 85. Should drink some good tea. I was just drinking some tea. Um, it was like caramel and butterscotch or some shit like that. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, Mike Will 85. Like, uh, let's see. Mike Will 85. Hey, he was about to go in. But you know, they be cutting it off when we, we get we cook. Um, I mean, obviously, my only concern is that the vehicles insured for the safety of the public. If there was to be an accident, then we are safe out of Is that required of a private traveler? If you have a vehicle on the road, yes. Uh, is this a vehicle or is this consumer goods? Because it's deemed by Supreme Court rulings that a private automobile is consumer goods and a vehicle is deemed equipment used for commercial uses. So this is a No, this is my private property. I paid for it. I maintain it. I take care of it. I'm not being paid in any way whatsoever any time I go out and use it. Okay. Like I said, man, my, my only concern really is just the insurance just because, I mean, if you were to get into an accident, I understand all those. That's why I'm an extremely safe traveler. I complain. I bitch about most of the people you guys give licenses to out here. All right, man. Thank you. Appreciate your time. All right. Hey, I just want to also honestly thank you for honoring your oath. I mean, a lot of cops, from what I've seen from my responses online, think that I'm a heinous criminal just because I want to get from point A to point B. Well, it sounds like you're you're doing you know, what you have a right to do. Yeah, and I'm taking I'm the precautions I need to like do said, it. My, my, my only concern is just for the, the public. Yeah. You the insurance, but, you know, you're, you're within your rights. I hope you have a good day. Okay? All right, thank you. Thanks. You have a good day. I was an awesome cop. That was a cop that didn't understand what I was doing, went back, got what information he needed and came back and realized that I'm doing what I have the right to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're on our way. It sounds like you're, you're doing you know, what you have a right to do. Yeah. But, you know, you're, you're within your rights. I hope you have a good day. Okay? All right, thank you. It sounds like you're, you're doing you know, what you have a right to do. Yeah. But, you know, you're, you're within your rights. I hope you have a good day. <laughs> Angel said she she pushed key for for uh <coughs> actually she smoking <laughs> it's that cough smoke making my weight down oh there you got me you got me what the hell <laughs> yeah 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 you got me <laughs> hey usually I read it in my head before I say it out loud I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, there we go. Peace to the Amarukans. Right here. Right here it says case 191 in 1848. Don't look this up, you can see it yourself. I had to go see it for myself because I, I was like, damn, this is a game changer. This is checkmate on all stages, on all people calling themselves the America. From the native to the people that just want to be Indians. Everybody. This said the United States case 191 in 1848. In other words, on June 6, 1848, a Supreme Court decide, read by Theo Ricardo. 
judge declared that the United States does not, the United States does not own the land of the ancient mound builders of North America. Much more than a million square miles of land by the Moors, not the Moors, Moors of Amaruka. We are Amarukans. We are Moors. Are the title holder. Now, how many of y'all knew this was here? How many of y'all understand this here and what this means? How many of y'all can comprehend that, uh, Florida, what this so. is? That's, that's why like we need to Moroccan. learn as much as we can. We don't Mar know y'all. So we have to listen to Maritania. all sizes. We have to know who we are. That's why we have to be master students. The Isle of Promise is a popular symbol among Moorish sovereigns. Many claim its presence on the dollar bill signifies the contract between final fathers and supposedly indigenous Moors of a Mexican. So why do the Moors have a symbol on the back of the dollar bill? Why are the founding fathers doing a contract with the Moors? These are questions we questions. must ask. These are things we must study. And why don't the Native Americans have a symbol or a contract with the founding fathers? Questions. Where is their symbol? So where is the Indian symbol? And why did they mention Moors and not Indian tribes? We've been on this app fighting about Native American, Indian, or Moors. But it's looking like the Moors have the paperwork. They have the evidence. Mm. Why is this saying this? Let's jump down this rabbit hole and find out why. Let's be master students and find out why. Everything should be about why. And don't be afraid of the information. Message. So y'all. Y'all. Become the master student. Y'all got the crumb is the master student. Y'all got to become the master student. Like, shit crazy, y'all. But why are we here? You know what I'm saying? Just remember. Dumb people love dumb people, and geniuses try to find people that are on their mental platitude. <laughs> and this is what they're going to try to do. They're going to hit us with that censorship. Have you any idea how six, six, successful censorship is on TV? Don't, don't know the answer? Hmm. Successful, isn't it? <laughs> now. I'm no librarian. In fact, I don't know what star sign I am. But as a famous person once said, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. And as I, another more famous person, once said, if you don't teach them to read, you can fool, fool, fool them whenever you like. <laughs> freedom. You know, writers have no freedom on TV. One rude suggestion, and the censors are straight on their back. <laughs> uh, not on their back in a rude way, I meant. Ah, tis mix me me him, here, and I quote from the bard. Of course, Shakespeare would have loved your rating system. Twelfth Night would have been lucky to have lasted one. Shit crazy, ain't it? But living in our matrix. I don't even remember what that guy's name was, man. That was just some shit I seen on TikTok. It was funny. I'm like, yeah, I got, I got to grab that. That's some good shit. Because you know you gotta fuck around to find out, man. You gotta fuck around to find out.
Yo, easy. I have to fuck around. <laughs> To find out what I need to find out. See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. <laughs> so, like, uh, anybody want to come up? I don't even know if Fam doing this thing. Is Sal gonna be putting the show up? Is anybody hurt for after hours or something? Yeah, I don't see nothing. I thought we were going to do after hours. Said getting lit right now. <laughs> I don't think we should do that. He he'll think it's a conspiracy. <laughs> I mean, technically it is, but. I think the government trying to fuck with him and shit. Yeah, he probably is going to think we are PCs and shit. Yeah, sometimes people do got rest. See, but that's why I'm here, you know what I'm saying? I come up here, I ain't got people draining my energy and shit. I just disperse my energy as I want, you know? Energy being time. <coughs> and it's all about time management, you know? That's why I'm trying to get trying to get a lot of views this year. That way I can get on to the other level. Once I get it to where we on the other level and shit, we can run this shit like a real TV show. Might have to monetize the fuck out of it and then uh, censor the shit out of that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, TQ? <laughs> you there? Yo, fuck yeah. I had to pop in real quick. Yo. Oh, that's easy. Yes, sir. There's ways around that, bro. What are you doing? You doing some TikTok reactions? Yeah, hey, I was just doing some uh, videos on TikTok and shit. You know what I'm saying? I I didn't think uh I don't know if Sam was doing a show, so I'm like, fuck it, I might as well just do some. Yeah, what happened? He moved or something? I've been busy the last few days. Yeah, he had, uh, he moved around to a different spot and shit. 
Oh, he's pretty probably good. busy. Yeah, yeah. He, he's not going to be streaming as much as he did for like at least like a month. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that's crazy though. The plane situation, that was crazy. Yeah, that was real crazy too, man. Because then there was another plane like the same day or something, right? Yeah. They've been having all the yo. <laughs> yo, hey, the viewers asked for it. You made it happen. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what everybody be having to, you know what I'm saying, get their own shit sometimes. Like me, though, know, like as long as I got some weed and a hobby, I'm all right. Like exactly. when, when, this, when everything goes to shit and we don't have power for a while, and all electricity. I still got my art tools, comics, cards. I'm gonna be able to do shit still. Yeah. All I got, all I gotta do is just go around, and fuck, wash some windows and shit. Cause some of these corporations and businesses still gonna be open. You know what I'm saying? Just motherfuckers gonna have to start growing horses and shit again. You know what I'm saying? Raising cattle and motherfuckers shit to pull horse Wait, and buggies you, like the Amish. Saying... You saying when the power goes out? What'd you say? Yeah, bro. It's going to be like that. We got to live like yeah, Amish people, bro. You thinking that's in the way future. You got to think about it. Depending where you live, how dense it is population-wise. First thing, it's going to be war. Well, and no. I'm talking hungry, about for the earthquakes and shit that's about to happen after the Oh, uh, yeah. That'd be wild, too. Because look at the rapture's coming, bro. And you got like fucking 40 days after the 8th to get your shit straight with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? If Yahweh don't, if y'all don't know who Yahweh is, y'all better get to your. Yeah. Know what nah, it. if you straight though, you don't have to worry about nothing. Yeah, yeah as long mm-hmm. as you doing doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. yeah. All them transgressions and shit, though, man. You got, you got, got. Remember, you getting your shit weighed with a feather. Yeah. You got worries and stress and and uh, uh what, what 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 we call that uh unfulfilled. Dreams and shit like that, dude. You gonna go? You going straight to the underworld with Haiti, you know? It's just a just a loop. They just gonna charge your ass back up, put you back out here, so you figure out your way back into the stars, man. For real. That's all it is. We, we trying, we trying to rise up, bro. You I'm making me higher than I already am with this. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, thinking hella tough now. <laughs> I've been smoking a lot of weed, bro. So, nah. So what I what I think, honestly, like to me is, I heard it earlier. I think it's like you get you get put in patterns, right? Yep. When you it's get recycled, you still gonna have the cycle. same people around you. No, it's uh, you'll have the same energies, same souls, yeah, same whatever yeah, spirit. but uh, it's just a different. A different vibration, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Different, you know. Because yeah. you gotta remember, in Buddhism, we all we we practice to where everybody is everybody. Like I am you, you are me. That's what Namaste is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when when we do like that, meaning like if we step on an ant, that's gonna affect us in the future. Anything you do, yeah. It's, it's that, that butterfly yeah. effect, yeah. yeah. So. How we treat somebody now affects how we get treated later. So yeah, if you definitely. treat better, if you treat people with better intentions, you'll manifest better intentions. If you like treat karma. people with bad yeah. intentions or cruel intentions, cruel and bad stuff's going to happen to you. It's, oh, it's, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen the that. The yin happen. and yang is the push in the pool because what goes around comes around everything everything is everything but you gotta remember you are everything so manifest what you want by attracting what you want if you think about it it's gonna happen don't think yeah. about negativity negativity will happen <laughs> yeah, you, get, you get stuck there for real. that's why i like smoking weed because it helps me not think about stuff and then it, when I do think about stuff, it's only good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it depends. Like a good sativa, sativa, bro. I'll be thinking way too much. See, if you think like that, you gotta drink some tea with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like a sativa, like in Cali, we are 
we got some super drill, bro. I'm in the Bay Area, you know what I mean? Like, the shit we had when I was 12 years old was, like, stronger than anything in the whole country. Oh, I already know, bro. Yeah, that sativa, though, it'll make you think. Like, you won't even be slumped or nothing. But a good perp, a good indica, that's what makes, makes you relax. Kind of yep. sit back. I like the indicas. I like smoking cool. hybrids. I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, yeah, hybrids like keep you cool. Mix, I'm, I'm laid back, but I'm intelligent with it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know, hey, what state you in or where you from? I'm in Illinois. You know, it's legal over here. Oh, shit. In Illinois, for real? So that's Chicago, too. Chicago is illegal? I'm in Springfield, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I'm I mean, in when I was a teenager, bro, it was still illegal in Cali. Yeah, I'm from where they... You ever heard of the movie Wayne's World? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm from, where they filmed that at. It's a town called Aurora. Like, how far are you from Chicago? Oh, uh, it's a Chicago land area. Here in the outskirts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm in like the outskirts of the Bay Area. I'm in the North Bay, near yeah. Humboldt County and shit. You know what I mean? Hey, I got people up in Wairika. They usually yeah, come Eureka. around. Yeah, Eureka. yeah, Eureka. That's hella up north. I'm more hella, closer hella. to. Yeah, I'm closer to Frisco, like a uh, thirty minutes from Frisco. I got people down in uh, I think Sac and uh, where's Donnie say he was moving. I can't remember where the fuck that dude. Sac like. is Sac is more like the valley, like Fresno. Yeah, yeah, Modesto, then Sac. It's yeah, Sac well, they're they're it's Mexican, fuck up though. there. My sister went to Sac State. Oh yeah, yeah. It, we're like two hours away. I'm more closer to the coast. I like, like uh, Virginia. It was pretty laid back, but there's a lot of homeless people out there, so I wouldn't want to live out there. And uh, Wisconsin is just cold as fuck. So I think my next stop would probably be around. Uh, I, I want to say Colorado, but I'm not. That's cold as fuck, too. You feel me? Yeah, right. I've been. Farthest east I've been is Texas. I ain't been past Texas. Yeah, I, I want to go to like uh, somewhere where it's like a mountain area. So I could like start building a, a base camp and shit in the woods. <laughs> yeah, that's like woods. that's like north, but when it gets cold, it's going to be snowing, though. Yeah, all you got to do is, like, this is how I plan it. I get, like, a four of storage containers, like the $3,000 truck containers that they be having on yeah, the trains. Shipping containers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I bury two of those. Um, one you down. You build a little bunker type yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, more it's not a bunker it's not a bunker it's, it's like more a of like a basement. sustainable sustainable house you know what I'm yeah, saying basement type shit underneath well it's it's a sub basement because what it is is a uh, I want to bury uh one of the trailers just L shape so I have one on top of the other like this you know what I'm saying yeah. and then I want the other one on top of that one so it'd be like a L J type thing you know what I'm saying and then yeah, I, I want to have like Two two storage containers on top of the ground level like that. That's actually that that's a cheaper way. That's like a, what fifty racks something like that. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit more hundred max. Right now, like where I'm living, I mean, like close to Marin County, Sonoma County, like where they grow all the grapes and stuff. Yeah. So like a normal house over here is like over a million at least. Yeah, because what I'd use the bottom container for is, like, uh, water purification, because you could, like, so once you get to a certain level and shit, water will just seep in naturally and shit and be filtered, and you could use it for growing and shit, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I was just going to have, like, a grow room down there where I'm using, like, solar power and shit and, uh, like, off-grid shit. Yep, plants love it. Down there, you know what I mean? Underneath the earth. <coughs> yeah. So I figured I'd just grow some fucking mycelium and some just marijuana. Just drill a well. By then, bro, if you had enough money, you just drill a well. You know well, I mean? shit, after that, dude, you know, you could, you could basically start digging sideways after that, bro. 
<laughs> this fool doing that's a whole ass mission with <laughs> Dude, Maybe you know how many times I played Fallout, bro? You know how many times I played Fallout? Fallout. I know what this shit's gonna be. <laughs> I know what this okay. shit's gonna be, bro. They prepared me for this shit in the worst way. Oh, drop the link. My bad, bro. I'm fucking hot. You already know that too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like shit in the Midwest, a lot cheaper than Cali. Like out here to drill a well, anything like that, it's gonna be like ten racks, fifty racks, just to drill. But but y'all motherfuckers lost all your insurance and shit. So your shit. Nah, nah. If you own a winery, yeah, it's all government paid. It's agricultural or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you can't do that citizen, shit on weed. Yeah, if you're a regular citizen, they are gonna charge you. You have to pay for it on your. Own. Unless you buy property that already has a well on it. Yeah. That's the good thing. Like out here, a lot of properties have wells. If you got acres, a lot of them got wells. That's what you need, though. For real, especially if you're growing your own food or have animals. You know what I mean? All you need is some chickens, bro. Yeah, fresh eggs every day. Every day. Garden. Shit, I wouldn't even have that though, man. I'd be growing fucking strawberries, fucking elderberries. I'd be growing all that shit down in the basement and shit. I have motherfucking bees down in that bitch. Everything, yeah, you could. Bro. I don't know if you have bees down there, but yeah, you could grow some shit down there. No, dude, you, you can have, have bees. bees down you just have to. Yeah, you can have bees in the basement and shit because they be fucking living That's off crazy. the flowers. That's crazy. Look at this is the thing. But they gotta go I, fly around. I know for a fact that if you have enough weed, the bees will <laughs> pollinate the weed. And on top of that, the pollination that they get will have THC in it. All right. So not they're only that, high. They think you they would have honey. They hitting the wall. They still yeah, high. these things no. don't get high like that, though. This It <laughs> only affects us because we have livers and shit. You feel me? Yeah, uh, uh, bees are already alcoholic, so all they're doing is fermenting weed. That's technically re what really what they do is they ferment shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you you say bees are alcoholic? Yeah, dude. That's crazy. You ever? Oh, hey, T TQ. Oh, yeah, they getting all them um, those fucking what's they called? They put in the yeah, yeah. I hear you. Okay. Hey, all I'm saying is like. A bee, you ever see a bee drink uh like a juice or 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 start eating fruit that fell off of a tree and shit and start rotting? I see them when they hit the flowers and they just be humping them and shit. Oh yeah, that's pollinating. But uh, like if you ever see them like walk, like if you ever been around like a fruit tree and shit where the, the fruits fall on the ground and shit, and there's a whole bunch of bees and shit. You could see the bees get drunk. Those things are alcoholics, bro. Oh, because it's fermented. Yeah. Oh, okay, I guess. Yeah, bees, bees like to drink. I see. Mm hmm. That's why they go inside a beer. They go inside a pop. Anything with like actual good sugar in it, they'll, they'll fuck that shit up. All right, they be trying to get in the juice. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Yo, easy. So, go ahead. so you, easy. You're, you're DG7617. Yep. Okay. All right. What's good, fam? Yeah, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to figure out. So, Mike, who who's the brother with the um that that does? He's from the Bronx. Um. Are you talking about um? Uh, I thought his name was Easy. Red too. Van. Red Van. No, that's not Van Dude. That's not Van Dude. Van Dude was just talking to you the other day. He's yeah, that's the dude the other day. That's not he's from, me, yeah, he's from Mexicali. The, yeah, the that's right. That, that ain't listen, me, bro. I'm born in Kelly. The the dude that had the um, remember he said he's going to go smoke with his daughter. He's from the Bronx, but he lives in Florida. What? No, I don't remember. I'm high. Oh, you like talking that. about my guy Smalls? Smalls, yeah, okay, Smalls. Yeah, my dude, hey, R.I.P. He passed away, bro. What? You don't remember? Remember when we were on live and he was talking about the doctors fucked him up? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, shit. He just passed away. He passed away, bro. Oh. Yo, tripping, bro. You should have brought that up. That should have been wow. the whole fucking video you made, Mike. Bro, hey, look it. The thing is, dude, I was trying to figure out how to talk about my guy. Oh, shit. I only seen the yeah. last dude you had, like, Mexican dude with long hair or something. You said he was in TJ. That last thing I saw. That, man. That, I, think no. that's Vandal. I think that's Vandal. Yeah, that was Vandal. Yeah, that was Vandal. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's his name, Vandal. My yeah, guy Smalls. My guy Smalls, um, he's from Florida and shit. Or he he lived in Florida, he's Bronx, but, but he he's from the Bronx. Head. You know what I'm saying? He, his 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 name Benny the Benny the Bronco yeah. and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this dude, um, he's a comedian, and like a lot of shit happened to him and shit. Like he fell off his bike. Shit started happening. Like real bad shit happened. But I think it's cause like. He had a lot of negativity, you know what I'm saying? Like he he didn't really he was he was kind of depressed depressed. And I come around, I talk to him and shit, and I'm trying to make him feel better and shit, you know what I'm saying? But she can only spend so much energy before you start feeling drained, you know what I'm saying? But he's mm-hmm. good people, bro. And I ain't saying that he drained my energy, like we kinda of charge each other up. I ain't gonna front. Yeah, man, y'all had good energy. Yeah, he needed to go to like some type of meeting or something. Bro, bro. that's the no. Nah, what it was is like he wasn't he wasn't the outside outside type. After certain shit happened, you know what I'm saying? Like he his hip got fucked up because he swear, fell off was, his bike. All that, that shit. was two weeks ago, man. Oh when yeah, we was I was on the in last live too. With him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was small. Yeah, it was bro. his uh, surgery that uh, messed him up because they had gave him God. some drugs. They they gave him a uh, overdose basically. He was explaining it. Yeah, that's what he said. Damn. And they Damn. they hey, they man. called him back. And shit. Can we do like just a quick moment of silence for him? Yeah, yeah. R. P. Small. You know what I mean, Mike? You you call it when the moment's over. Let's just do a quick moment of silence for him. Man, I hope this dude. I I know he made it though. I know he made it for where he's Rest supposed to go. Because he was up, good man. people, bro. Yo, um, hey, imagine if yeah. he never went through none of that surgery type shit. He probably would have made it either way. But okay. yeah, man, we was on his dying man. The first time I hell I, yeah. Remember we was we was me. It was me, you, Nudie, and 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 Smalls. We was just on here cracking. Oh, cracking up, man. That's because it was like it was like one of fucking the Ninja Turtles and shit, bro. Yeah, it was. It was. It was it just four dudes just going back and forth. I was like, oh my god, that's crazy. Matter of fact, I was completing his sentences. He even brought. I didn't even realize I was doing that. He was saying, <laughs> like that, and that shit never happens to me. Like it, it's just like he just reminded me of. Of New York so much that he's saying something and I'm finishing it. I was like, man. Hey, like, and what had happened too? What what it was is since I was trying to figure out how to bring him up and shit, because the dude that I used to buy my comic books for from and shit, he had passed away too, and oh he did God. like a month before then. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and yeah, I used to go up there and wash his windows. I get fucking. I was getting these Funko. Funko Pop from, you know what I'm saying? These things are like fucking fifteen dollars. Dude, giving them yeah. to me for ten, so I'm just picking up Funko Pops, just lacing yeah. up my room and shit. Yeah, like uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You, you into that? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. I'm, I'm a collector. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So if I if I if I if I um if I come across something, uh, dude, I'm. I'm about to design my own Funko Pop and I'm put it on here so y'all niggas can buy it. I'm going to have the whole click. Like, I'm going to make designs of everybody fucking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. The whole fam. Like some on some Avengers type shit. Yeah. All, all it costs is like, I think like $60 a Funko Pop and shit. Oh, 
Okay. Like, but like after you with... after you have it, it should you could have it mass produced and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Okay. I never knew that. I never knew that. Okay. I'm gonna look into. Hey, that. you gotta go to that Funko Pop uh, website though. The website. The... That's what's yeah. Up. yeah. She said, with the blunt having out his mouth. <laughs> oh, hanging, out, hanging out his mouth. He oh, said he man. in his bed. You got the link still or what? Nudie said he was there with y'all in the small. Nudie, yeah, Nudie. Yeah. The he Nudie was there with y'all. Yeah, I remember it was y'all four in there, I think. Yeah. And then oh, you, more you people would, joined. I was yeah. watching, though, because I was yeah. busy doing our football. And, and then just, hey, yeah. you all know something too, man. When I looked at it, dude, I'm like, why is this video so fucking high viewed? You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. It was the video with him in it, dude. Oh, yeah. So, so okay. That's why I was like, that. That's why I was getting easy confused with with Smalls. I was like, that's why I said, um, that's why I said jump on with Ali, because Smalls, you know. She almost mm-hmm. reminds me like, like almost like a female Smalls kind of. Like, Ali's really outgoing, you know. Like, she's really outspoken, outgoing. Yeah, I was. I think I was in the live with Thou when he first invited her, yeah. or it might have been Buddha, but I was in there. Okay. Okay. All right. Found. So. So it's me and you that be in the uh, watch party trying to figure shit out. <laughs> yeah, I mean that was I kind of left the server. I was kind of uh, lit the other week. Y'all, y'all, who playing what? Party. Huh? Anyway, yeah. What happened? I mean, y'all seen the message? I left that because you know when people start to blow up slowly, you know I gotta talk about it. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, what I mean, I will talk about it. Nah, if you if okay. you have to go ahead, bro. We ain't, I don't have open. to, but what I'm saying is, you know, people say that things are gonna happen or they're gonna do certain things. You know what I mean? And then well, only pessimists say negative things. You know what I'm saying? We we optimists. No nah, negative. I thought we were building together. Yeah. You know I mean? What you what you talking about? Like like exactly. say it, bro. What you if, if you don't if you don't know, then you don't know. You know what I mean? It's only a couple people I talked about certain things that. We're Listen, trying to, we're trying to build up on. You talking about then, in the server? Huh? You talking about in the in the Discord? Talking Is that about what you referring the to? The whole fam, everybody. Okay. It's, so so what happened? Speak like speak on it, man. This 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 the thing. Like shit is open. Like go ahead, speak on it. I'm not I'm not the type of person to speak on shit okay, like that. Okay, and, and how that if me you were, if you were a part of it, I probably already messaged you or told you about it. That's now what listen, I gotta say. I tell you, I seen you said, I did catch you say something about, uh, you said something one time, you peeped that you didn't have a certain, you know, you see what, you know what I'm saying, right? I mean, if you've seen it, then why are you asking me, you know what I mean? You should already know that. <laughs> no, because I'm, I, I don't know what's going on. I, I, seen, right. a, I seen a then, comment you made. Then, and it, I, then it's not it's, asking it's not my, and it's huh? not at you. you know what I mean? No, it's not at no, nah, it's not at me. I'm just trying to right. No, nah, he said if it's not at you, it wasn't meant for you. That's all exactly. exactly. Yeah. Right. And he okay, don't know why you don't, you don't it. I like the way easy thing be because he doesn't put his he doesn't put people's business out on there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Then, now now other people we know, like the other day on uh yeah. I can't be I can't be walking around putting other people's um documents out there like that. Like you can't air out their documents when the person's not there to fucking hold it. Exactly. Like, hey man, hey, you shouldn't be talking about that. That's something we could have did in private. That's we could have kept that in private, yeah. 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 I mean, and then like like TQ, we know, we know. It sounded like he was trying to smash the it way he was like interacting TQ, with him and shit. You feel me? It ain't at like TQ, TQ at all. I mean, nah, bro, you I, know. Yeah, nah. Look, I, that's not what I'm saying, bro. I'm what I'm what I'm trying to and what I'm what I'm trying to say is, I I seen something. I know it wasn't at me, but yeah. you know, I I seen it and I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is this is. You know, I'm like it made me go, huh? Yeah, like, what, no, what's that's this cool. about? Yeah, you saw it. That's what's up. Yeah. Hey, y'all got Fortnite, right? Hell no. What you what? say? I just, 
But right, you want to go? You want to go? Yeah. Talking. Hell would... no. My little brother will clap you on that, though. No, nah. nah, I ain't talking about one-on-one. I'm talking about team. Shit. For me, nah, man. I, I can't mess with that, bro. I mean, I'm down, but... I ain't good though, bro. Honestly, I don't know how to build none of that shit. That shit would get. Uh, I don't play no. I play no build, so we just yeah. running around gunning. It's like Call of Duty shit. You put it yeah. on. Uh, you put it on Combat Pro. It's like the original settings in Call of Duty. That yeah, my son plays it. My son plays it, but I don't really play it though. See, so, yeah, I play it because all it does is give me anxiety and shit. It makes me antsy. See, that is too now. Bad. If I play Call of Duty. I get violent tendencies and I start breaking shit. I don't want to break shit. You know what I'm saying? I like my shit. I like it. Yeah, I'd rather be frustrated. Call of Duty. <laughs> they too fast paced for me. Like I, hey, I had, I had to delete my Mortal Kombat, but I still got Mortal Kombat 11 and shit. I be playing Dragon Ball mostly. Yeah, hey, yeah, I fuck with Dragon Ball Fighters all day. Fighters. I got Kakarot. I've been on the Oob Story Saga right now. Yeah, Oob go crazy. Yo. I play yeah. with the yeah. SSG. Yeah. God, the Gito, bro. Let's see. I'm trying to get that uh that oob that oob uh fusion where he's he's marching oob. I want to play into that. That'd be dope. Hopefully they go into like the whole four and everything. I I think they did. They did drop all those packs. I didn't really pay too much attention. I was high. I just bought the shit. You feel me? Hey, one question though. Like when you play that one piece, you like in a tournament type mode or what is that? That's just uh, one people trying it's to play. It's tournament. It's a uh, tournament is basically everybody has 50, is it 50 cards and one leader. You know what I'm saying? Now, as long as your, your card colors match the leader's c- color, you're good. You can't colored? have, yeah. It's all color coordinated and shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's basically like, uh, remember Magic the Gathering? Yeah. Remember how you had to bring mana out and shit, and then you tapped the mana in order to bring the monsters out. Same difference. Same difference. So it's like some type of energy per round type shit. Yeah, you get one to two energies per round. See, the first pe- the person that goes first gets one energy. Then the second person gets two energies. And then it's two energies after that. Oh, so yeah, the yeah, first yeah. person to always have one energy more than the second person. So it's co- it's cool concept and shit. I like it because of the art. Really, I, I'm just an art collector, so I don't know. Pe- people don't know that the Mona Lisa is really only like this size. You know what I'm saying? What? But what? how does he have all the detail? What you mean? Say what? Huh? Huh? You said the Mona Lisa is big as that little box? No. Nah. It, it, the no, just the face part. It's like oh. it's like uh, like it's like uh, this part. It'll be like that thick. That's how that's how big the Mona Lisa's picture, the portrait is. Yeah. You know oh, what I'm saying? Thick. It's mean, a uh, small. It's a small it? ass little portrait, dude. I don't know. I never been. Wait a minute. You talking oh, about yeah. the whole the whole thing? The, the actual portrait Lisa, that they the painted portrait? is that small, bro. So what's in the the what you call it? The museum in the Louvre or whatever that's called in in France in Paris. All that shit's either in the uh, the Vatican or uh, the Smithsonian, bro. So so the picture that like you know that's out there in Paris that you know mo- most recently Jay Z and Beyonce took the their picture in front of that. That's not the real one. That's what you said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, a lot of people know that. And it's just like dinosaur bones. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Yeah. Everything's fabricated. That's you of... live in a fabrication. Everybody believes dinosaurs. I grew up the dinosaur dragons, bones, you know but I've never been there to see the actual Mona Lisa. Wait, well, but, you have to start. Wait, you wait, have to wait, do wait, research. Wait, I'm wait, an artist wait, and an art no, collector. I, under, so. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, you artist. But if it's that small, how did the detail get that good right, for that exactly. Well, that's well exactly what I was you, guys, you guys act yeah, like yeah. one hair doesn't hold paint. You know what I'm it saying? It does, but you think... You could get detail of that, that bro. Hair? Yeah. Or he bro, has some different type of technology. It doesn't look the same. 
it, 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 the thing is, students using oil paintings and shit. And then on top of that, there's like a lot of the shit that they show us is so it's as big as your head. Right? So, so yeah. the oil painting was as big as your head. Yeah, I, like I get a, I get, bad. I get something that's that I think it was like, <laughs> I think it was, I think it was something more like uh, this box, they like this, because the box is damn near the size of my head. Yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah. Then the box is thin as fuck too. The so. whole painting, that's crazy. Yeah. And it's the same thing. This is just a replica of it. Replicas, yeah, and then they enlarge the replicas. Bigger version. That's, 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 because that's everything's why. photographs of photographs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's, it's hard to believe, but not compared to the you know the ancient technology they had. I seen I, I seen something. I, it was on Discovery or National Geographic or something. They found like the the first supposed first photograph. You know that it was made like back in the 1600s. Like somebody actually. Later, baby cakes. I didn't even know she was leaving. Figured out how to um, how to uh, get get the the like make an actual photograph. Use the light and catch the you know in like the imprint of someone on cloth. Um, and they they were calling it like an actual you know like it was like a, a ancient uh, antiquated camera. Um, I forget what they said it was. it was supposedly somewhere over in Europe, but they even had they had like the guy's face or show what he what he was taking the picture of. Um, and yeah, you know, there's there's stuff that we don't there's a lot of shit we don't know. You know, like Well, it's just like everybody should pay like you know from divergent to this. Everything's either a mud flood or or like a a purge of fire, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, some type of reset. It oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely earth, yeah. You. Uh, when we get it's too earth, like, wind, water, right and fire, bro. Uh, it's it's yeah, only it's four people. elements that he's using, but yeah, he control. Who control it, There's bro. five all together. Yeah, we're understanding what they're doing. When they're harvesting the smart, fifth element. They're yeah. harvesting the fifth element. And we yeah. get too smart, they're gonna reset us. Yeah, you you want that shit? You want no? It wasn't the Shroud of Turin, nudie. This, this was, it wasn't that. It was, it was, it was just some dude that made us a, a simple. He like made a simple version of what would be a camera, um, mm -hmm. and actually like made of of like supposedly the first photograph. But when we talk about like the, you know resets and stuff, then yeah, then we gotta say well, it's most likely that all of that technology was already. You know, yeah, already it, there. You, you know what I'm saying? They already they had, had control of it. Yeah. You think yeah, tsunamis and earthquakes just happen randomly? No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Definitely nah. not. Yeah, I, I'm a I'm a whole believer in the 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 um the past civilizations and the the resets and stuff. It, it yeah. only makes sense. You look at these buildings, like if for nothing else, look at these buildings. We don't build like this. No. You know what I'm saying? Not, like, yeah, we pay no, way man. more money. Yeah. We pay way more money for this basic ass shit. We pay way more money have, for it. Yeah, facts. Bro, think about facts. it. The, the Omex built all that old shit. They disappeared too. There was like the Incas and shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they but, disappeared though. You know, it's all, the over, it's all over the U.S. and every, you know, in every state. And you so know, they try is, to stay hey, Tartaria. So, so one yet. thing I heard was all of these um, great civilizations were um, like disciples, how you say it, like the underlings of Genghis Khan. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. conquered Tartaria. everywhere. So there, 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 Tartaria, it's like, uh, like I look, so I want to say like them. this. There's this they stuff on Netflix. It. They about to block Buddha Mike's whole channel. <laughs> Hell no, because I'm not monetized. They're, look at <laughs> they, they, <laughs> uh, Look at on Netflix. They got this show called Gentlemen, bro. The stuff that they've been doing in there is so relevant to how you can see what they're doing to us. You know what I'm saying? Because they have to how, tell us through that. That's like yeah, they have to tell us through the media. It's soft, the soft core yeah. information release, basically. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna say it like this. Um, 
I don't even think the Tartarians was on it like like the people was that actually like built these buildings, these old world buildings in America. Because the Tartarians, I believe they actually part of this of of this civilization that we in now. Yeah. I don't think I think there was a I think there was there was a, a other civ a past civilization and a reset and the Tartarians was like the first part of this civilization yeah, that we that started. In. That, but they yeah, were all about started. like equality. Everybody was on the same page. Yeah, that's why yeah, they spread and, out yeah. all over the group, right. You know what I mean? And then they got and then they got taken from them. They got because taken they, out. So that's what I'm. Yeah. Okay. So that's a new. That's a whole new story. Nobody even yeah, talks about. Yeah. Right. So they right, got infiltrated just like they're doing right now. In yes. Germany. And Somebody it's actually, slid in and it's then actually fact, them like, out. It's actually facts because they. Uh, let me see. Let me. Uh, my. Let me get my thoughts together on this. They, the Bolsheviks. Okay, so what happened is the Russians came in under Stalin and everything, and they put them under oppression. And the Bolsheviks came in and told the Tartarians, and this is within this, like from the 1900s and yeah, like World War One, World War Two. Yes, the Bolsheviks came in and said, and even mentioned them. They said the Tartarians, you, you know, when we take over, you're gonna be free to have your religion and your customs. So. The Tartarians were actually a part of our of this present civilization, but people get and they confused and saying, "Oh, they part of the old thing." That I don't think I I I don't think that I think the old thing with the old buildings and the, the free energy and all of that that we we came and we found is is something else. You know what I mean? I think that's something else because they was on some that's that's like one world harmony right there. You know, yeah. like. In order Everybody to was resonating on the same pattern. Yeah, you know what I mean? in order to get to that and level, it was, it was peace upon the world. Yes, you know what I mean? yes. But mm -hmm. they had to come through and ruin that shit Facts. for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why, if you look at ancient shit, like even from not even ancient, eighteen hundreds, San Francisco. Uh huh. Then the fire happened. Big ass yes. fire wiped out all the well, buildings. Look, quote unquote fire. That shit got yeah, bombed out. You know what I think? You know, How they think yeah, they got we bombed don't know out? The, that's what the story they I think they used the airships. I think they used the airships to bomb They had out. airships back there. They could refill yeah. on the top yeah. of, you know what I mean, yeah. the building. Well, you guys yeah. remember that, uh, what was that uh, movie? John Carpenter? John Carter. John Carter. When he you remember back that? Into 10, 000, yeah. what, back then? Yeah, yep, yeah, went into a cave and the cave was supposed to be filled with gold, but the gold mine was something that they were uh they were mining. Yeah. The aliens were mining, and then he fell into a trap that was set up to go back into the past and shit. And the past was basically their future. I mean, and that's how it was like cowboys and Indians, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, and just like ten thousand BC, yeah, what, the cowboys and aliens and Indians, cowboys or whatever. And cowboys, yeah, and yeah, aliens. cowboys and aliens, yeah, that's yeah, what it is. Absolutely. I need to see that one too. I mean, it was good, but it, yeah, that was like the later. John, Carter, John Carter, John was, Carter was, was, a, was a good one, and then he like yeah, he John Carter was like Mars. It was yeah. like it was about like Mars and Lemurian. It was just a desert. Yeah, he was out in the Middle East on the yep. Lemuria. They had Lemuria in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mew. Yeah, because that's what saying, that's hey, what so, Lemuria is. Lemuria is Mu. It's so the land of Mu. Look at all these old templates of the Bible, right? They go all the way back, all the way to Lemuria, thousands, and thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. So history definitely repeats itself. <laughs> But how are we, when we're oppressed, gonna be able to change that? Think about that. Well, the thing is, it's not. It's not what we're looking at. Because the thing is, yeah, like is, how Bob bro, Marley said, happen. you just said it's gonna happen hella soon. It's, but but it's not how. What it is is, this is something that God's doing. He's judging the nation. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. You can't change. You can't change God's judgment unless you repent. All right. Then yeah, take the rest. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So the thing is, with, with think, that, I believe it's changeable. Mm. I honestly believe we could change it, but with that, you have to put on your arm. Enough power. Yeah, if you don't I'm have faith in God, if you don't have faith in God, it's going to affect you in a way that God's going to make it to where mm, you, you, you got crazy. no choice. Yeah, you said mm. I'm crazy. I'm no, okay. I said I said we definitely created. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I was like, I'm okay with being crazy, just as long as you know yeah, I'm crazy like a fox, I'm bro. Than you, bro. No, no, I'm crazy <laughs> like a fox, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but what you gotta realize is, if we're going through the same cycle over and over, eventually somebody has to change it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Ali. And if mm. we're not the ones that's supposed to change it, are we not NPCs? What no, no, no. This is the thing. That cycle? No, this is the thing. It's like, it. like how I was saying, Bob Marley said it the best, man. He's like, I'm a revolutionary. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And then they, they him. call me a rebel. They, they call him. me a rebel, but I'm true. a revolutionary because I rebel against the system that wants to control something that shouldn't be controlled. I'm, I'm a free man. Why should I be controlled? Yeah, but you then know, he got too comfortable and they, you know, stabbed him whatever in the shoe. Every it's not started. that. It's because he was going to be the Messiah. Because hey. he was going to actually change things. Yeah. What, okay, hold on. Let, me, let me ask this because I've seen this on another channel, right? So what about the thousand, is it called the thousand year reign of Christ or something like that? Yeah. It's um, yeah, yeah. yeah, the golden uh, years. Okay. So, so th okay. There you go, Mike. The golden years. Okay, so look at this. If Christ happened supposedly two thousand years ago, right? Yeah. Now you had a thousand year reign of Christ, the golden, the golden years, the golden era, and then uh, the rapture, the apocalypse, the rapture, all of that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I was I was going through some channels like John Levy, um, um. Aurelius, Lucius Aurelius, a couple of other channels that really put shit together. And I was like, and I thought like, what if, and th this is just hypothetical, but what if we actually already passed, like what if that all of that shit actually already happened? No, 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 the thing is we're living in that time now. That's what they were telling you. Because... <laughs> let, me, let me cook, let me cook. <laughs> yeah. Go hey, ahead. Let him cook, yeah. He, let me I cook. see where he's going. Yeah, let him cook. Because if you think about it, or it, just think about this, like we just said, like they, like the past civilization was some, they was on another level, right? The, the, I mean, almost you could say that that Better was like a golden, than us. Yeah. a golden era, right? Yep. It was harmonious, and then and then it just got wiped away, and then the people that came after it, we're in such a a state of hate and sex and you know. Um, damn the word escapes me but just we so centered on money and you know yeah. materialism and stuff like the the world the is thing? really it's, it's, it's materialistic Babylon. hatred bro That's you know what I'm so, yeah. so sometimes I feel like, Babylon, dude. so for a while i was for a while i was feeling like we are we like actually in hell right now because like did the rapture already happen did the apocalypse it's, it's Technically, you purgatory. Know if it you, is, but you see what I'm. But you see where, like, where yeah, did these yeah. people He's go? Still where did cooking, these people bro. go? Hey, let them cook. Still where did these people go that that lived? At, like, we don't see no bones. The only bones we see are giant bones from um, was it Sar Sarnia or something out in <coughs> uh, Sardinia? No, 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 in Italy where they found they found the actual, oh, Sardinia, uh, Sardinia, Sar Sardinia, yeah. or whatever it's called, right? So. We're, but where the rest of these people at that that because I mean this shit is worldwide. Every place you go, you're gonna see old world technology, but we don't see no people. That's like, the thing though, you gotta remember cool. our civilization yeah, yeah. censored a lot of giant stuff out because of the, what but, it means. You know what I'm right. saying? Well hold on, but let's, nah, let's we replaced it. Yeah. But he's but, cooking still, let him cook. <laughs> but was it giants? It, was it giants in China? Was it giants in, you know what I mean? Like in, in, um, hey, in, in the book, giants roam the land, bro. Michael, yep. you, to, you see what I'm saying? But like, so we're, that's why I get, so to my, now, get back to my point it? is where the people at, or where, yeah. where the people, where the beings at that live. I'm gonna call them people underground, where, bro. You, no, you he's talking what? about the giants. About this, he's still talking about them. Think about that well, underground. So, Right, but getting back to my point, that the the point is, if so, if we're not in some sort of post event, you know what I mean? Like then then we besides the buildings, where's the evidence that the people, 
that like what happened to the people did they just like you know dissipate did they are they buried you know what i mean think, like I think it's so. almost it's almost like a, a rapture event like if like they just disappeared mm-hmm you know, like that. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, well, I look at it like this. While, I was for a while. I was thinking, like, damn, we. I think we actually living in in hell right now. You know, I like, think of it like this because me being a Buddhist and stuff. You gotta remember, I I, I see it in perspective. You know what I'm saying? I see how you're seeing it. Religions and everything. It's not. It's not. No, how no, I'm no. It. Philosophy it. is what it's Buddhist just, is. A, a philosophy question. is what it is. It's My philosophy how, is not teaching. How I'm it. It's I noticed it. it's a question. how it's how the word terms that we use are misconstrued. Like unveiling is basically apocalypse. You know what I'm saying? The unveiling is the apocalypse. So, so us already coming into this information in the age of Aquarius is the apocalypse. So we see the information flooding in off of the media. Media is controlled by Satan who is the king of the airways. So while we look at it as this, we live in purgatory, which right. is That's heaven right. and hell. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. So while we live in the mid, we can ascend by letting go of what holds us here, which is possession. Right. Okay. Okay. Yo, I got to go. Somebody just pulled up, bro. I got to go. It's nine. No problem, bro. I'll holler at you easy. I say you know invite. It's always always good to have homies come in. You know what I'm saying? Because like that that's what it is. Because like when when these books were wrote, it was to tell for the signs of the man, and then are are easily like thwarted. You know what I'm saying? You can see through them, but the signs of God, you can't. It can't be uh, stopped can't it, it can't start before or after it starts on his time and only his time he tells you what's going to happen like this is the rapture you know what i'm saying on the eighth it's supposed to be three days of eclipse and darkness you know what i'm saying they we already getting what uh snow i do we just got rain with sleet in it bro and up upstate these people got three inches of snow yeah, they said it was hail in Mexico, right? Um, just recently. Yeah, right? golf ball, down, not golf ball. What like that? That's oranges, man. That's that's yeah, said, Florida that's oranges. Cancel. Tropicana. Yeah. yeah. Softballs. That's what he said. Softball. Back. I'm like, yeah. So what we see is in the in the the days of Noah, it's coming in is is now because we we are the son of of men. You know what I'm saying? We're we're the new, well, not us. Technically, the ones that they gave the Jimmy jab to. Okay, those are going to be the new robots. Those are going to be a AI creation because those are where all the nanites are. We're we're breathing in the nano dust right now. You know what I'm saying? When we go outside and it's like foggy and shit, no, uh, nobody's really paying attention. You're supposed to wear a mask then. That's why I, I'm like, come on, man. Me and you come up with like an idea. I know somebody in this chat got some uh, uh, 3D applicability. Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? You could make us a a breather oh, mask. 3D printer. Yeah, I was supposed to get mine. Yeah, I we could make us a 3D printed mask and stuff with yeah. a clear front, water filtration, and an air fan that blows in. You know what I'm saying? So we're right. always breathing fresh air. Right. And it's oxygenated, right. you know what I'm saying? Hydrogenated, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So that we ain't got to worry about fucking dust and all that shit. Because mm -hmm. they're killing us. I yeah, want to say... But then you got to put alkalinized water in it, because otherwise the water got fluoride in it. And mm -hmm. when, well, yeah, when, yeah. Right? When you heat up fluoride... Well, technically, right. you know, it would be better if you like use distilled water. If we use distilled water, it collects a lot more than toxins and shit. True, true. Uh, and, my and point, my we'll point get, is, my point yeah. is, you can't just use regular water. But mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. You're right. Because if we use that the distilled, we could add uh, sodium and shit. Yeah, you can. Where it's ionized, then mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's true. I I mean, shit. I'm, like I, I just want. I would love to look into that. 
I'm just saying, man. I'm saying, yeah, bringing it to the universe. You know what I'm saying? So I know somebody already made it, or it's gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? And thing is, dude, with shit like that, dude, we 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 don't even have to make money off it. We could just sell it to everybody because I'm pretty sure everybody would rather have that shit than a piece of diaper. Am I wrong? Mm-hmm. I'm I'm Cause... thinking about it now. I'm like when you how you you inhale and exhale. Like how how does it? I'm just in my head. I'm just trying to. All right, think about Hellboy when Abe Simeon was using that breathing mask with the water in it, but oxygen in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch Hellboy. The the only thing I could think of is is Black Panther too, like with the with the. Hey, mask low key, um, Hellboy had a lot of gems in it, bro. There's a lot of gems because it talked about um times before the sun, all that good shit, bro, and it goes into every. Like basically, it's the Bible and the Quran had a baby, and then the tall mod see them naked, and then he decided to join in with the baby because you know how. Never mind. But but uh, you, <laughs> mm, <okay. laughs> I had to stop. I, I don't know how to end that one, man. So uh, it's a pause moment. You know what I'm saying? But that's how Rabbi. I mean, people be like that. You know what I'm saying? So. He said the Atlantean. Uh, Nudie said the Atlantean War blew us back to the Stone Age. I think that 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 was the um what we were just talking about. Um, but yeah. Hey, uh, um, going to build on what she just said right there about the Atlantean Age and Stone Age. That goes on to remember how they made that movie. Uh, it was the Disney movie Atlantis. Where they had the little the blue stones and shit, and the stones. We're making shit float. I, I'm sorry, bro. Like it I was just, a kids show, bro. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I just never subscribed to like this stuff, and I feel like I missed well, out. You missed out, but the thing is, I don't know if you would have been able to like uh, retain it like I do, because me, I got a photographic memory like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, I got an eidetic. It's just it, like I just. See, I I see like stuff like that as stuff like that, and I see key. You know, I I do catch the subliminals and everything, but I always that's what you're it. supposed to. That's what you pay attention to. You don't you right. you you don't watch it for entertainment. Right. That's what, I, that's I always what you did, always did that, but then it's like it's from Disney, so I'm like, it's you know what I mean? Like it's it's teaching you something. There's a moral and a lesson to this shit. It's it, it's not entertainment. Yeah, There's a Disney. message. Disney There's the really be on that on that section. That well, I'm just telling you why I always was just like, you know, I'll catch something, but then I also, you know, write it off because it's just like they also put it was it, too it was too in your face. Too too much, like, man, why would they much, do that? They put too much sex in in the in the stuff. Maybe they. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, if you tell me that they have to do that, you know, for no, certain people, we, I dude, they that. make it a hate. They're making a hypersexualized uh, civilization because they want it to be like so many movies. Like, yeah, they want Zion. No, they want sex bots, and then they want people without emotion, and they just have like they're they're robots. It would be like um, everybody's acting like robots while mm-hmm. they're living like kings and shit, Hunger Games mm-hmm. style. You yeah. feel me? Just like serving the well, purpose. They get the pick of the litter, like, uh, she's a virgin. She hasn't had sex, but she looks very. She's a Ted model, you know what I'm saying? Her jeans are good. Like they're they're on that type shit. You know what I'm saying? They're they're on a uh, horse breeds. You feel me? Like right. they're breed they're breeding breeding. Like geneticists <coughs> and eugenics are the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they're controlling genetics, and they're 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 trying to snuff out a nation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, what it is is Babylon is is basically where we're living now because of how they just turn, you know what I'm saying? Everybody into Sodom and Gomorrah. Everything is fucking. Uh, it's just it's a sick sad world you know what i'm saying and i i see i see potential and it could get better you know what i'm saying 
Mm. It's just the people are going to starve before it gets better. And I, don't, I think we could get it before then. I just don't want to see people starve because once well, people yeah, starve, they I mean, start eating their own. Listen, a, a lot of us, you know, share the same sentiment, right? Like we all want it. We all want to try to stop it before it it happens. But if it has to happen, yeah, I mean, it's a necessary you know I mean? evil. Like, I know what she's saying. If it, if they, if that's, if they are trying to throw the world into that, you know, in, into that chaos, and you know they're on, to, they like they have their finger on the button. You know what I mean? It's like talking to people who you, they have intent. You know, they have purpose. They have intent. They're driven. Who was saying that? Oh, Cat Williams was saying that, right? He was saying they work a lot harder than we do. You know, they hold on, they, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh shit! Hey, uh, we gonna have to postpone this. Uh, fam, just threw on after hours. I see y'all over there. Oh, okay. Sounds hey, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but we was building, bro. Low key. Oh yeah, we, we was talk. building. We that talk. was some good shit. We gonna keep it. We could keep it building on this, but I'm gonna oh, have to oh. like make a, a a cut of this and then uh, post it yeah. for our next one. Always. All right, bro. Catch y'all over on the fam over after hours. Peace.